Well, using a fake ID to get into a bar is nothing new for college kids, but a fake vaccination card? L.A. is the latest city to require proof of vaccines at bars. It's a prerequisite at colleges across the country, and now some are trying to cheat the system. So what is the penalty for using a fake vaccine card at schools, at bars, or even at work? CBS 13's Julie Watts investigates. From concerts to college campuses, from the office to the bar. Proof of vaccination is quickly becoming common and there's concern fake vaccine cards could become the new fake ID. We found blank cards for sale on social media and even purchased these on Amazon in an effort to identify a scam. The ad displayed a yellow international vaccine card but arrived with what appeared to be real blank COVID vaccine cards too. We're turning the cards over to authorities. What are the legal implications of buying or selling a fake vaccine card. So it kind of depends on the situation. FBI Special Agent Sean Reagan says they've been working to fight vaccine card fraud for months. Utilizing an official insignia of a federal agency, that would be a federal violation. The unauthorized use of the CDC logo is a federal offense. So if you were to forge this blank document or create a fake one with the CDC logo, it's punishable with a fine and up to five years in prison. And that's just the federal charges. If you're using the internet, for example, there could be a various uh, violations, both at the state and at the federal level. A Napa doctor was the first to face federal fraud prosecution in an alleged fake vaccine card scheme. The Central Valley bar owner busted, accused of selling much more than booze. A San Joaquin County bar owner faced similar charges, in addition to charges for falsifying medical records and identity theft. Law enforcement officials tend to go after the bigger fish. UC Hastings law professor John Myers says, much like drug dealers, the feds generally focus on the people accused of selling the cards. But he stresses when sellers get caught, their records may reveal the buyers too. And using a fake vaccine card is also a crime. Fraud. You could be violating federal, state, and local laws. For instance, several people have been arrested for using fake vaccine cards in Hawaii, including a woman who got caught because she misspelled Moderna. They face up to a year in prison for violating an emergency proclamation. Yeah, and I think it's important for citizens of California to realize that the same thing could happen here. But in order to be punished, you have to get caught. This photo of the easy to forge paper card is all that's generally required to verify your vaccine. While schools and businesses can do random audits, there's no national database. And as we've reported, the state's database is flawed. Many who are actually vaccinated can't find their records due to typos or missing information from the vaccine provider. Now, when it comes to universities, Myers believes many who get caught will get caught through word of mouth. And he warns, criminal penalties aside. If you go into a classroom or a hospital or a bar with a fake vaccine card and you infect somebody, they can sue you. Well, legal experts know businesses and universities would have the legal authority to fire or expel people caught with fake vaccine cards.